What is going on, guys? Wiser here, coming to you with the recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was a midweek random matchup versus LP for Hades. Uh, this is a very good clan. Um, I believe their invites. Uh, definitely know uh, they won Nip one year. Uh, this is a good, good group of guys. Really good random week, uh, random midweek matchup. Um, as you can see, we struggled a little bit. 85-86 was the final. Uh, was not our best showing. Uh, kind of glad we get some of these. Uh, mishaps out of the way uh, during the midweeks we do have. We are in uh, prep day right now with our CWL week four matchup against No Luck to Skill. Um, so that'll be a good one. Uh, this was a good little practice for going into it. So uh, lots of attacks to show. I didn't have a chance. Some of these are going to be going in cold. I did watch a lot of them live and watched quite a few of them, but uh, we, we struggled. We... Um, did okay 10v10 and then had a few, we had a few diff fails and just some very uncharacteristic things. So, like I said, just glad we got out of the way uh, now and not on the weekend. And I got some awesome stuff to show you. So we're going to start with 28. A couple of these bottom ones were the lower tier, um, lower tier town all 10. So we're just going to skip past those. Uh, we are going to check out the Iceman using the Ice Witch. Slowly becoming my uh, my favorite attack. It's so spammy, but it it's like I, the only way I describe like I used to describe Veiler is the controlled chaos. Um, main focus is you're protecting your healers to protect your witches. You want to send them um, down sides where they're going to have access to the air defense, or that at least the healers are going to be out of range of the air defense. And then first and foremost, I should say, is you got to protect that wall wrecker. Got to get this wall wrecker in as deep as possible. If you could get this little intersection broke, uh, that would be golden, but I don't think he does it. But as long as he gets to this core section, pretty much everything except for sort of these back few defenses are targetable. Um, but it's looking good at this point so far. Poison is down. Queen gets locked up on the Hound for a little bit. A few witches in there helping out. But you can see this uh, wall wrecker slowly making its way. I think it does maybe make this wall. No, not quite. He's going to have to hit that Rage and that Heal. There it is. So these bowlers are going to jump on out and start just crushing this base. When you get that sort of large core, it doesn't matter because these bowlers under rage, under that heel, are just going to walk up and you're going to get bounces on all of this stuff. Almost even gets that Arch Tower out of the way. Does get the Inferno Tower out of the way. Boom. King busts through the wall. Looking good at this point. Nice little freeze down. Still has two freezes to go with really only these backside Teslas and the Wizard Tower, Archer Tower. So Ice looking very good at this point. A few skellies kind of doing cleanup at the top. Still has two healers intact. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and about ten witches down here. Still has all those bowlers going. Just far too much for this base to handle at this point. Who needs those freezes? Why not? Hey, why not? Just use it. Just freeze those buildings. You absolutely did not need to do that, but whatever. Still that queen ability to go as well. And that is a three in the bag for my man Ice. Beauty. Um, right, 26, 26 versus 26, King going in, it's still a six pack for King this war, I, uh, using a, uh, just more standard bitch attack, a uh, couple healers down on one side with a few witches and bowlers, same thing at 12 o'clock, you're going to see them move in, just basically create that funnel, let the wall wrecker kind of walk right down in the middle, and the wall wrecker, if you protect it, you know, get that one freeze in, get a, a good rage and um, and stuff down for your bowlers, <laughs> and the heal, uh, you're going to be looking pretty, you can gut so much of this base, and as long as you can see these air defenses are all sort of up and in the core, these healers aren't going to be touched by these air defenses, which is nice. So goes and gets that heal down, gets the poison down. Got to take care of those clan castle troops. Queen steps up, takes care of the baby D. Bowler's in there under rage, just smashing stuff away. Defensive queen is now down. Jump spell opened everything up as well in the core. So things looking good at this point. Queen standing on a rage still, working on that defensive king. It is about to go down and see you later. So Queen's going to jump on into the core, still start to continue to work on stuff. King is in there with full health at this point. Did pop the ability on that, but it doesn't really matter. Just needs to do a little bit of tanking, let that Queen hollow out the rest of the base from the core. It's a bunch of witches and, or witches and skeletons on either side, moving around the edges. Looking just fantastic at this point. Queen steps up, take care of that wizard tower, which is nice. Going to let that witch just start to continue to do cleanup work around here. King finally is going to go down, but Queen's going to step up and take care of this stuff. 
Like, no problem. Gonna have to hit that ability to just make sure that Town Hall goes down and she's gonna switch on over to that cannon. There it goes. Down goes the cannon. Down goes the air defense just in time before the healers get in range, which is beautiful. Healers keeping those skellies up. There's just a little too much left for this base to handle. Really, there's two Teslas to go. Troll Tesla in the corner. And it goes down. See you later. That's three in the bag for King. Nice. So I got to rush this one. I got to go to work pretty soon. And I don't think I was going to have time tonight afterwards. So we shall see. JP Wiza. Using the ice switch. Uh, so what I liked about this uh, was it sort of was this natural funnel towards the uh, towards the town hall with just this sort of indent here in the high hit point structures. I knew everything was going to sort of converge onto the gold and elixir storages. Didn't know the Teslas were going to be there, but whatever, no big deal. Uh, my only concern was the Inferno Towers on either side. I knew I was going to have to use the majority of my uh, free spells coming in on the entry here. And you're going to see them go down here in one minute. Poison's going to go down, take care of the clan castle troops. Both freezes, getting both those buildings. Poison's down, just a crap ton of archers. Did use the freeze as soon as that baby D popped out. Just get that baby D frozen in its tracks. Let that queen work in there. Uh, there is the wall wrecker working its way. Opens up the core. That's all it needed to do. And get that heal down, get the rage down for the bowlers. Everything's going to go smashy, smashy right from that core. <laughs> I was really concerned because the queen walks right past this Inferno Tower and leaves it up. So I wasn't really sure how the end of the raid was going to look with this Inferno Tower up. Really was hoping the queen was still going to be alive. She decides to beat on a wall there instead. Uh, no big deal. It actually works out just fine. She's going to take care of those high hit point structures. And I still have one, two, three, four, five. Skelly's on one side. Or sorry, five witches on one side, four or five witches on the other side. Just so many skeletons dropped a cleanup wizard to help those skeletons just continue to move through the base. And as you can see, things are looking good. My queen ability is still intact. So that's all I'm going to need to make sure that Inferno Tower goes down at the end. And it does. And that is a three in the bag for Wiza. Bam. This Ice Witch, man, I'm telling you, it's, it's just so ridiculous. Uh, so we're going to check Manny's hit out now. Uh, I think Manny had a six pack too, I believe, but he's going to go with a beautiful Lalo here. Double Skelly spell. Goes ahead and gets the Zap Quakes. Actually, I had a, I did drags on this again. I'm getting these like high 90s. I think it was another 95%. Um, he misses the Zap Quake here. Uh, my Zap Quake got both air defenses and uh, the Inferno Tower out of the way. But with my plan, I was going to drop Baby Ds on either side at 9 o'clock and take care of these Archer Towers. And then drags go in here, and the drags were going to path sort of right into the core. But the problem is there's Teslas in these little gaps here on the outside. So as soon as I dropped the baby Ds, I tried to drop the loons, and it just messed things up. So I had to wait for the dragons to path. And I would have had it. I ended up actually recovering because uh, you do the uh, the what uh, Manny's doing here. He drops the hound in first at 3 o'clock, the blimp in behind, and then a bunch of balloons. And you get huge value out of this blimp. You're just gonna, he's going to rage it. Up comes the max balloons, down goes the Inferno Tower, down goes the Expo, down goes both of those air defense. Things are looking pretty. The double Skelly spell is still intact. Probably could have used it a little bit earlier. He lost a little bit. Uh, he lost a little bit to that defensive queen, but it is now dead. Skellies are just going to help clean up at this point. There is far too many balloons working through this base. A little bit scary at this point with that wizard tower, but it sort of targets the right thing. Still has that hound intact too at full health. Probably wanted to get the hound in a touch earlier. But it really doesn't matter now at this point. There's no uh, no splash defense for those balloons. There's far too many of them for the Inferno Towers and stuff to work through. Down goes the Inferno. Down goes the last few structures. Manny comes away with the big three-star for us. Nice job, man. Bam. Uh, Erickson. Man, this guy is just a beast. He knows... So well versed at all his attacks. It's just a diverse arsenal of attacks. He's pretty much good with anything. Um, however, his uh, go-to attack I find as well is this Ice Witch because really there, it's very difficult to defend. I mean, even with this sort of double Inferno, uh, the multi and the single coming in, um, you're going to see like it, it, as long as the freezes are on point, as long as the wall wrecker is going in at the right angle, Look, gets that Expo and both Inferno Towers out of the way. Let's that Wall Wrecker get right into that Inferno Tower compartment, untouched. 
going to start blasting on through. Seconds, freeze goes down. Out comes Clan Cast. He's going to go ahead and drop that poison. One more freeze over top of the Expo and Inferno. Again, a little bit off on that one, but no big deal. <laughs> Still has tons of hit points on that wall record. Just goes ahead and opens up that main core compartment. Needs to get access to that defensive queen, which he does. Couple more walls and boom, opens up that queen compartment. Nice little freeze on that sort of backside expo, bomb tower, wiz tower, and archer queen. Wizard stepping up now, queen stepping up, or witches stepping up. Uh, everything moving into the core does not really get much action for his witches on the outside from 12 and around. Uh, they all follow into the core, which actually kind of works out really nicely. Has skellies all over the place. Those wizard towers just don't know what to do. Bowler's in there under rage now, getting the bounces on that backside wizard tower too. Only a little bit of defense is here at 3 o'clock. King's in there doing tanking. Queen's ability still intact. Still has a free spell. I think he's going to drop it for funsies down in the back on the backside here. <coughs> or not. Why not just hang on to it? But uh, Teslas obviously don't stand a chance against that many witches and your heroes. Queen ability. Bam, down it goes. Three stars in the bag for Erickson. Nice job. Damn. Man, this guy's been a 2.0 for a long, long time. Uh, back in my day, I remember we, when we promoted Dan from Invicta, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, unreal. One of the, one of the longer standing 2.0 members, uh, at least one that I remember from back in my day. So. Nice to see. Nice to see Dan putting up the triples. Little little bit different style of bits. Uses a golem and his wall record to sort of provide that uh, tanking on either side. Has the bowlers, which is in. A couple healers in at the 9 o'clock. No healers at the 6 o'clock. <clears throat> golem takes that Inferno Tower to the face, but it's kind of nice because lets that wall record get right in there. A little bit late on that free spell. In fact, I might have, because it was so late, I might have even just waited one more second and frozen the balloons. Those balloons could really wreck your wall record. But all he wanted to do was make sure that core gets opened up, and it does. So heal goes down, takes care of those bowlers. Queen's in, mopping up the pups now. Just finally drops that rage. A little bit late on the rage. Probably would have dropped it right away. You just want that instant smashing action from your bowlers as soon as they hop on out of the wall wrecker. But well, he's got a bunch of uh, bowlers in behind it as well. Things are looking good. Jump spell goes down. Unlock that sort of final Inferno Tower and Expo compartments there. Queen stepping in now. She's got healers in helping her out. This base is GG. Just got to get that Expo down. A few of the outer defenses remaining. Just crushed it. See you later, Cannon, and just that air defense to go. Oh, my bad. The old troll Tesla <coughs> doesn't stand a chance. Too many skellies. Nice job, Daniel. I have to go get my other coffee. Oh, I skip one. Oh, skip my man. Warp. What are we on here? 21? Man, I got a lot of tax to show up. Oh, no. Time, time is it. How much time I got? Uh, we'll see. Cutting her close. Cutting her close. All right. So, Warb's going in with a little bit of a queen uh, walk. It looks like I haven't watched this attack. I don't know if I saw this one live. I was at work for a little bit of the war yesterday. Uh, it's got the queen going in. I believe the healers. There you go. Healers going down. Help her out. So, I think his goal is to walk her down this side from three down towards uh, six o'clock. Because he probably doesn't want to go up because of these air defense. So, Let's see how this goes out. Yeah, so she's going to go down. Let's lock onto this Dark Elixir drill next. Things are looking good. King getting the funnel going on the other side. Wizard in to help out. Wall Wrecker is now in. Let's open things up for this queen. Queen's going to step up, start taking care of those defenses in there. King is going to continue along the path. Out comes the Clan Castle. So down goes the Poison. Queen's going to step up and take care of that Baby D and all that other jazz. Wall Wrecker still has a lot of health considering the Clan Castle is just beating on it right now and Expo is just beating on it. It's going to basically get right up and into this section here. I'm going to go ahead and Rage and Heal. Heal. Maybe he doesn't heal. No, he's saving the heals for the Hawks. Would have been nice. I, I might have... Well, no, it's hard to say. Would have been nice for that air defense to go down too, but you can see this queen sort of just walk in there, hits the ability probably a little preemptively. I think he was probably looking at his hogs, 
Notice his queen's health going down, sort of his panic there. So he could have just hit that ability right now and would have taken care of that expo, but does lose a queen here. Doesn't really matter. He's got like 26 hogs moving in. Still has a heal down for this sort of backside Inferno Tower compartment. There is no splash damage on this backside. So really, as long as they can get through this Inferno Tower and start taking care of the, this kind of stuff, the expo, really, Tesla is the biggest threat at this point. There goes that heal spell. Keep things up as just enough hoggies to rip through these last few defenses. Does take a bit of that bomb to the face. Doesn't really matter. They're sort of standing on the edge of that heel. I hate when like, the hogs seem like they should be in the heel, but they're standing on the edge. <laughs> bomb, just enough. The hero hog saves the day. Didn't really matter. He had enough cleanup there. Out of boy Ward, nice three. Uh, and to complete his sixer. Uh, goes ahead and hogs it again. Brings goal this time. And this wall wrecker, a few bowlers just for his entry. Here's the town hall. So he's going to be coming in on this side. I think he wants to get this, uh, uh, sorry, he needs to get this defensive queen out of the way. So he gets his funnel goal, and looks like, at 9 o'clock and 6 o'clock. I think he's going to just sort of push in. There's the goal. So he's just going to get the baby D down. Really wants to get a nice little funnel down at 9. Uh, uses the king now to sort of move in to this stuff. He's going to end up sending the wall wrecker in right behind the king. If you can get into this core, take care of that queen and sort of hollow out um, this sort of bottom triangle of base, uh, he really can just sort of move around the outer edges with the hogs, a bunch of heels. All those defenses are very, very close close together. Free spell down over the clan castle, get that baby slow down and the inferno. Nice little freeze and poison combo there. Wall Wrecker is just going to take down that inferno tower. Down she goes. Really wants to try and get into the queen permit, but doesn't. It doesn't really matter, though, because really the queen just needs to die. You see those bowlers under rage just instantly smash that queen down. Nothing left in the core, and just has a ring around the rosy here for his hogs. Four heals. So looking, he's going to drop one over this wizard tower, one over this wizard tower, one over the other wizard tower, and have one for funsies. So you see these hogs working on through. Drops the rest of them at 12. Just to sort of keep everything pushed. Doesn't want the hogs splitting up at this point. So really good use of that. Has those testers on the outside. Just a little bit of an issue, but no big deal. He's got way too many hogs for that. Look how fast that wizard tower goes down. Basically just one shot that wizard tower. Bomb on the outside. Get that other heal spell down. He's got one more for the inferno tower compartment. Queen's going to step up, take care of the wizard tower, which is nice. Hoggy's moving in just in time. Fortunately, he does lose the queen here, but doesn't matter. He's got... Still a dozen hogs moving in on this last compartment. It's really only Inferno Tower to go. And that cannon. Goodbye. And goodbye, cannon. And then they just got to turn around, kill all those damn skellies chasing them. Archers help out with the skellies, which is kind of nice. Sometimes, sometimes when those hogs finally turn on the skellies, I swear to God, like they all attack the same one. So they just one at a time. And they're sitting there dying. I don't know. It's annoying. So nice for those archers to jump in and help out. Beautiful attack. War nice job. Uh, Kinger with his other three star. He's going to go ahead and bring another bitch attack. Eight witches, two healers per set of witches. Bunch of bowlers in on either side. Very similar attack to the other one we saw. He's going to go ahead and send them in at 3 o'clock and 12 o'clock. Get the funnel going. Go right into this very large Inferno Tower compartment. You're going to get a lot of value out of that. You're going to have to beat through the double wall and get access to that queen. You're going to see that is no problem. Does bring a free spell for that entry Inferno. He's going to use it here. Oh, maybe use it for the uh, clan castle. No entry inferno. Poison down over the balloons. Now you're going to see how quickly this wall record goes down when the balloons get to it. Bam. Sorry. Uh, I hate seeing balloons in the clan castle because if uh, you don't have a plan, if you don't freeze them, sometimes I even double freeze them on my witch, uh, ice witch attacks. Uh, but you're going to see, got really good value. Gets that jump spell down. Would have been nice if you could have used the jump spell a little bit deeper. But again, it doesn't really matter. Queen stepping up, taking care of that north side inferno. Down it goes. Hits the ability a little preemptively too. Again, he's probably just was not was just watching his queen health and not watching the actual queen because she once she killed that inferno could have still had the ability intact at this point. But you're gonna see like the healers on either side, <coughs> even though these ones have locked on now uh, to the bowlers here, um, survive the entire entire raid. So really nice job keeping those healers preserved, keeping those healers. Uh, keeping the bowlers and the witches going. So that's really important with these attacks. you got to get the clearance on the outside and just gut enough of the core. So basically the stuff on the outside is going to be able to all, all be targetable by the stuff uh, moving around the outer ring. Queen steps up. 
Looking good. Bonus points for killing the town hall last. Nice job, King. I don't know why I always say that. Whenever the town hall is the last structure to remain and it's the last thing that goes down, I would say it's bonus points. But All right, Manny again. Another sixer, another Lalo. We didn't have too many Lalos this war, actually, but uh, Manny absolutely crushing it. Gets the uh, Baby D into a funnel and a couple balloons in to make sure the Tesla goes down and the Baby D gets good value. You can see the Suicide Queen on one side, war, uh, Baby D on the other side. Nice little funnel. A couple more Wizards down. King goes in behind. Going to have to get that Wall Wrecker right into that Queen. You're going to see it here in one moment. I think he's going to raise those troops that pop out. There it is. There goes the Rage. <clears throat> Valk jump out, instantly smash that queen, smash the wall. I need to get the next air defense and stuff here too. So good value out of that wall wrecker. King gets a little bit of access, does suicide the queen. Whole purpose, must have known that hound was there. He did not want to get the queen in the core, so he did not want that lava hound bursting. We're going to see great value. He gets the sweeper now too with his king there. Another high hit point structure out of the way. King's about to go down, so his Lalo has begun. It goes ahead and starts up from the 10 o'clock position. Hound goes in. Nice early haste, get those uh, balloons right in on top of those defenses. Still has a freeze, rage, heal, and uh, another haste. Uh, basically for not a lot of base left at this point. Goes ahead and gets everything in, bust them in on top of those air defense. There goes that rage. Nice little split on his balloons there. That one balloon goes up, takes care of that air defense. Down goes the Inferno Tower and the Tesla. Go ahead and haste and heal the back end wizard towers here. There's the haste. About to see the heel, there it is. Kind of funky pathing. Like, really, they went from this. I never understand sometimes. You look, you see <laughs> this expo. I wish I could select it. So it's basically like this one. It's right against that edge. They were on this expo and didn't go to that top expo. They went down where there's a gap right there to that next defense. It just doesn't make sense to me sometimes, but it doesn't really matter. Enough balloons, jump on over to that expo. Couple more drops, it goes down. It's got cleanup all over the base. Some stuff, nice little job with the archers to lead the hound away from the, the cleanup troops here. Really nice job, Manny. Sexy. Uh, notorious. Bringing 34 hogs. So interesting base. I was looking at this one when I was planning. I'm like, man, I don't know. I don't know about these alleyways. Sometimes it's it's really hard to predict the pathing um, of some of your troops. But when you're just bringing hogs, you know, they're just going to defenses, looking good. His goal was basically get this. Ooh, what? I hit four times. But you'll see the kill squad. That's the, the aftermath of that four times was the uh, kill squad took out that entire six o'clock section. Again, leaving a nice V-shape with four heels for the hogs. So as long as you can keep those hogs healed, don't let them get sniped by any crazy giant bombs. Keeps his queen protected a little bit here too. So she's jumping in, helping out as well. Just thinning out those defenses for the hogs. <clears throat> He's got far too many of them, right? He still only has one compartment to go on this back end. Uh, does he have another bomb here? No, nope, not quite. But just wants to keep them going long enough. So go ahead. There's the bomb. So he's going to go ahead and heal the Infirm Tower compartment. Still has 25 hogs in there. Does not stand a chance this base. A couple cleanup hogs there to help out as well. Just get them in. Get it cleaned up. Notorious absolutely smashes this one. Boom. Nice job, man. Time check. Time check. Oh, I got five minutes. And three more attacks still. <clears throat> All right, Eric's another ice witch. Again, our go-to attack right now when you can sort of get them on the outside, get that uh, this these air defenses out of the way, and then all four air defenses really are going to be gone on the entry. So really the healers can get preserved very well. You're going to get the witches sort of a, uh, not a lot of splash damage until the end. And even with the splash damage, if they have both healers intact, it really doesn't mean a huge, huge di uh, difference. But you're going to see the, they kind of get thwarted a little bit by these Teslas. That air defense um, does take care of one of those healers on that side. Uh, could have dropped them a little bit lower and they would have been fine. Just like these ones are. You see you get a few shots off on this first uh, 
First healer and down goes one, but still is a healer attack. So anyways, uh, does get good sort of value on this natural funnel for his witches. A few witches follow into the core. Now the queen does lock on to that hound, so it's going to be working on that for a bit. A couple witches in to help out, but gets the king in, gets the wall wrecker in, nice freezes. Make sure the wall wrecker gets all the way down to this compartment. Wants to open up this huge last compartment. Down it goes. Let's get that rage down. Let's get that heal down. Burst that wall wrecker here in a minute. There it is, and everything's healed. Everything's just going to smash through that stuff. Does lose his king there. No big deal. Queen is now going to come in, mop up these pups, these bowlers under the heels and the rage. Looking good at this point. The uh, witches on the uh, sort of, that started about the 10 o'clock side have fizzled out because they did lose both healers. But you see, even this, this one healer, this witch is still doing cleanup work on the outside. Still has that queen ability intact. Be nice and patient on that. But there's only a few defenses to go, really, at this point. Get those mortars out of the way, that splash damage out of the way. <clears throat> Finally loses the witch up there. We do a little fast forward action. This queen's going to have to do a little bit of work here. Not a lot of units left. This one was a little bit scary, but Eric ends up coming away with it. <clears throat> Hit that ability. Down she goes. And that's a three-star for my man, Erickson. Excellent. Um... 14, 13, Demon going in. Get the entrance here out of the way. So Demon's bringing this 22 Valk attack, the uh, whatever it's called, the Vulcan or whatever the hell it's called. I don't know these days. <laughs> um, haven't seen this a lot, but Demon's really good with it. Uh, very, uh, very meticulous on how he gets his funnel and where he wants his path and to go for his Valks. Um, again, this really reminds me of like a Town Hall 10 Veiler attack. A little more so than the uh, Frozen Witch. If you're not using the freezes as much. You're really just focusing on keeping the Valks alive, keeping the Valks clumped together and just sort of moving through the base bit by bit, getting good value out of the suicide, get a good um, funnel going with your heroes. So really, there's only these couple buildings remaining. The Valks are going to go here, blast through this stuff, blast into these huge compartments. I think that's sort of what he saw about this base, why he wanted to use that. Plus with the Hound and the CC, uh, he's looking pretty at this point. Nice heal, rage. Keep everything moving through that core. Everything's going to lock onto that queen. Wall Wrecker's in, opening things up for those Valks. Big compartments, like I said, the uh, Wall Wrecker's giving the Valks great value. And under the rage, Valks just shred through those max walls. Well, not max walls, but you know what I mean? Max Town Hall 10 walls. Another little rage there. Gets, look how far that Wall Wrecker gets. It got through basically almost the entire base. Only one, uh, one uh, remaining. Sends in a few hogs to help clean up some of these defenses. Finally, once the Valks kind of get separated, nice little heal spell getting value on the Hogs and the Valks at the same time. We're going to fast forward this because this base is done for. Hogs moving through these last few defenses. Valks cleaning up. That Hound's trying its best to kill the Valk, but just doesn't stand a chance. It's a little beep, beep, beep. Sorry, bud. Maybe next time. <laughs> All right. Smash going in on this one. 34 Hogs, one Golem. Nice little go-ho here. Go-hobo, whatever. Hobo. <clears throat> Just going to go ahead and use the uh, golem on one side to get the funnel going. Wall record on the other side to get the uh, funnel down on the other side. Heroes are going to go in. Really just wants to make that core compartment. Again, you're just carving out the section of base to leave good pathing for the hogs around the base where you can get great value on those four heels. You see how that goes. Golem's still in there doing tanking. Queen's going to take that top side Inferno Tower down. King and Bowler's all in the core trying to smash that stuff up. Finally does fizzle out a little bit, but just in time for that Queen to get in there and take care of that other Inferno Tower. Down she goes. And Hoggy started in basically from the uh, uh, 4 or 5 o'clock position. Going to double heal over those Wizard Towers and Expos because they got a little bit of work to do to get through all that initial stuff. Still has two heals basically for this backside from 9 till 12. Looking good at this point. Nice little poison. Take care of those skellies. <clears throat> one heal down. Probably going to conserve that just a little bit, but no big deal. He's going to get that other heal down here in one moment. So many hogs. Nice little uh, stray hog to trip that giant bomb. Does not have to heal it. Gets the heals the clump of hogs instead. There's only a couple Teslas and that wizard tire to go. Bam, down she goes. And almost loses a chunk to that little giant bomb wizard tire trap. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Way too much to, to, for this base to handle now. <clears throat> nice job of smash. That DE drill. Boom. 
Man, I want my other coffee. Knew I should have brought both in. I don't have enough time, though. Got to get these last few attacks. All right, obesity, 11 v 11, 30 hogs, 10 wizards. Like this comp. Uh, trying to remember what he does here. Uh, I know he sort of was saying, you recognize, like, you look at basically six to uh, three, and it's like defense, 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 and sending the hogs at the right angle. Um, really, there's not a lot of worry about spring trap. So, anyways, loses the goal very quickly, fortunately, but gets that wall wrecker in. Uh, Got to get that funnel created. A couple bowlers in to help things out. He's going to go right into that Inferno Tower compartment. Really wants to get the eagle out of the way. Basically, again, take this sort of separated, segregated chunk of base. And if you can get most of it taken care of, um, really the hogs only have to go, uh, you know, for, again, that V-shaped pattern with four heels. Got a freeze even. Fortunately, it is a hound in the CC, so the queen gets locked up a bit. That's what those bowlers and stuff are in there for. Does hit the king ability. King's going to smash through that wall and take care of this queen in a second. Bowlers as well. There they go. Gets that eagle cannon out of the way. Beautiful. Just got to finish off those puffs to make sure they're not falling those hogs around. Gets huge value out of that kill squad. Goes ahead and sends everything in for 12 o'clock. Going to move everything in, down, around. You're going to see what I'm talking about. It's not a lot of spring traps to worry about here. <clears throat> Furno Tower goes down quickly. The warden locks onto the hogs, which is nice. Gets the hogs nice protection there. Heels fell down. Keep thing, everything going. Queen sort of goes off on her own, which is nice. Takes care of these backside defenses. These testas all pop. Doesn't really matter, though. It's got far too many hogs moving in for that to worry about that. But does he sort of need to save that heel for the back end? See what I mean, though? Spring Trap only lost one there. Not a lot of stuff on the back end. Heel spell. Looking good. OB. Taking her down with the 11 v 11. Nice job, man. Very sexy. Whoa. Okay, I don't, I don't really know where that stopped, but for some reason, my recording just froze, but whatever, we'll pick it up right here. So, Obi, big three, 11 v 11, nice job. Got a few more here to just sort of rock through 10, 743. So three more attacks to show, and then I got to run to work. I got to show, oh, why did I show this one? Seven, is it seven? Six. No. Weird. I wrote that down wrong. So I only got two more attacks. <clears throat> JC going in. This really sexy looking Town Hall 11. He's going to go ahead and get the baby D's in. He's got 25 hogs. I always find it interesting that Town Hall 11, these max Town 11s, using the hogs. But you're going to sort of see the same similar thing as Obi's attack. You want to carve out a big section of base and just leave good pathing for your hogs. He opts for two rages. And three heals instead of, you know, when we saw Obi's attack there, it was uh, four heals. Uh, Going to go ahead and get that wall wrecker in. Really wants to take care of that Inferno Tower compartment. Get that Clan Castle taken care of. Poison goes down. Take care of that business. couple of witches come out, but doesn't stand a chance. Nice little jump spell unlocking that core. Hits that Warden ability. Make sure the Clan Castle dies and the bowlers all move in. Wants to get the Eagle Cannon. Look at the push he gets. From that kill squad, just unbelievable. Goes in, sends all the hogs in. There's really nothing with those three heals to take care of. Like, look at how few defenses there are. Kill squad still going at the top. Just gets that expo down. Uh, queen is in there. Heroes are untouched, basically. Has the uh, queen ability still intact. May as well heal that bottom section. The multi infernos. Always a little bit scary when using an attack like this, but with that heal spell, they're going to stay nice and fine. <laughs> doesn't really matter even with the giant bomb there and the wizard tower there. Still has one heal basically for this back end. Just got to smash through this wizard tower very quickly. Look how many hogs he's still got. Just absolutely ripping through this base. Archer tower just obliterated. Going to go ahead and heal down over this bomb tower and that GP. Just enough healing to make those hogs continue on through. Take care of the wizard tower. A couple more to go. Goodbye, goodbye, and that is a three star for JC. It's absolutely, this is our this is our eleven v eleven beast. JC is just killing it. I mean, we got we got a few. Like, don't get me wrong, we got a lot of a lot of really good elevens, but uh, JC has really been impressive lately for sure. Uh, and then last, but certainly not least, my boy Predator doing what he does best. This crazy Queen Walk Lalo, where he just basically takes out 
50% of the base with the queen walk and Lalo's the rest. Uh, so where does he start this one? I watched this one live, but I forget. Okay, nice little ace in. Gets, those, uh, gets that cannon taken out of the way. I don't know, maybe this is part of his funnel? Weird. Anyhow, uh, yeah, that must have just been for his funnel. I don't know if he's trying to get that air defense too, but um, you're going to see this kind of play out. Clan Castle low, freeze and poison down over the dragon. Looking good. Valks move in out of that wall wrecker. Basically just cleared the path for the queen here now. Queen's going to step up, take care of business over here, get those sweepers out of the way, get the eagle cannons out of the way, or eagle cannon out of the way. Uh, you can see he's already got 35% of the base with two hounds and 22 balloons on the back end. <clears throat> um, so I believe the queen switches. He needs the queen to switch. Yeah, oh, the wall gets opened up, and as soon as the king smashes through some of this stuff, I don't think she goes outside, does she? Oh, the, no, no, no. See, she finally redirects. So strange. Uh, but the healers locked onto the Valks there for a minute, which was, like, just perfect, because the Valks beat through the wall, let the queen get into that multi-inferno, get it out of the way, help take care of that air defense. And now he's barely got any anything to do for these balloons, right? They go from 12 o'clock straight down into this 9 o'clock compartment. Really, you know, you got to worry about that town hall and these backside air defenses and the backside multi-inferno, but it's got so many balloons. Still has the queen and the warden ability to go. I think he uses the warden ability here on... In a moment. Or does he? Oh, missed the warden ability? Am I right in seeing that? You just missed that warden ability, Predator? I didn't see that. Anyhow, only a few defenses remaining. Has the haste spell go down a little bit off on that one too. Wasn't the cleanest of these attacks that I've seen, but it's just that queen charge he does with the Valks and the warden queen combo just absolutely gets insane value out of the uh, out of the troops and way he goes three in the bag for Predator. It's my boy. All right, so I got to work. I am late, but uh, great war. Thanks, LP four Hades. You guys are. Uh, you guys are rock stars. We did it. We had an extra town on 12, but we also had two town on lines. So whatever it was, reasonably close. I would say maybe we had a slight advantage. It's always nice to have those extra 12, town on 12 attacks, obviously. But uh, yeah, we should the bet on just a few dips and just, again, uncharacteristic things, uh, things that you generally only see in midweek war. So it's good. Anyways, I got to go. That'll do it here for your wisdom from Wiser. Till next time. I'm out.